Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm an instructor at ASM Educational Center. Today, I want to talk about Route 53 with simple route policy, okay? Later on, I'm going to talk about Route 53 with different route policy, like weighted route policy, fell over, and so on. But today, I'm going to talk about Route 53. So let me tell you what we have done. We have web cert, we have a two subnet. We have public subnet 10010. Actually, let me go back for it. We have a Northern Virginia region, which is 10.0.0/16. Inside that one, we have two subnet. Public subnet, which is right here, is this 10.0.1 here. And then we have a what? Another public subnet, dot three here, okay? And then we have another private subnet, which is dot two, okay? Inside this public subnet, we have a bunch of web server. Web server one and two. We have to. We're going to use web server two. This is one public subnet. Then I have a web server three here. Okay. And then I'm going to. Last video, I learned on how I put this inside elastic load balancing. Elastic load balancing. Remember from last video, the elastic load balancing is instance monitored by elastic or reported at in service or out of service. We're going to see right now. They have health check and they have their own DNS name. You are not given like that. So usually you and I, we do not memorize the what? The long DNS name. Today, I want to talk about how we can use a Route 53. Route 53 is kind of like a DNS is which resolve the domain name to IP addresses, okay? But before you do that, I'm going to show you what we have in our system. So I'm going to go back to our system right here. I'm at Northern Virginia right now. As you see, that I have a, this instance. We have web server one, two, and three, okay? Each of these, web server two, I have an IP address, which is this public IP address right here. If I come down, sorry about that. See this public IP address, 35, sorry about that. 35, 34205 one of 155 190 if I copy this and paste it in the browser right here see that so that's a web server located on our regional site too okay that's that one let's go to other one let's go to web server 3 basically I've done that I have created IIS and installed the web server this one is 54167223137 okay so 54 right here 16723 when I click refresh and that's another web server look at it, that okay so we have done that now what I'm gonna do I'm right now Northern Virginia I'm gonna go to EC2 console which I'm right there then I come all the way down to the left side I'm gonna go to load balancing so what I did I created a load balancing, which has this long name. How do I do that? It's very easy. All you have to say, create load balancing. Let me show you how you're going to say classic. We've done it in the last video. I'm just going to go quickly, continue. Then you're going to give a name. Let's say give a test. Let's say I'm going to give uh, Virginia ELB load balancing. Then I'm going to pick my the, my the VPCs right here. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick what? Available zone, okay? All of that, then you're going to say next. Then I'm going to do, let's say, pick uh, this one, public subnet. And then I'm going to pick the next one, public subnet too, also. Okay. I'm going to put all of that and say next. I go to hold the process of that. Next, configure security. So on next, I change all of these. I've done this on the lab. Next, I add that, all of that. Next. I don't use any tag, I don't need that, review, and then I create that, okay? So after I create that, I get this elastic load balance, which I come down, again, I have done this all detail in the last video, I just want to show you quick what I've done here. When you come down, when you click on instance, you're going to see both of the what? Available in service. That's what I say in my PowerPoint right here, instance monitored by ASA are reported as in service or out of service. So right now, both life is good, okay? Now, so far, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go look at the DNS name of this. See, when I look at this DNS name, it's a long name. It's right here. This is DNS. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in the web browser. And when I put it here, see, it goes to what web server tree, refresh. Okay. Oops, sorry. this is not the one I want to do that. I want to go paste it here. Okay. This is the long DNS. It goes to web server 2 and Virginia site. Then it's going to go to what? Web server 3 on the Virginia side. So it's between 2 and 3 is balancing out. Again, you and I, we don't memorize what this. So what are we going to do? I'm going to talk about that route 53. I'm going to talk about what? Route 53. So instead of typing these, you type in like uh, something else like asmtest.com and point to that one. So you're going to go back to here. I already have a shortcut here. If not, you go to services and go down to you type in route. 53 okay if you go to route 53 it's going to take the oh, I have a shortcut so you click to route 53 it comes up this section okay it comes this section now what I did I just want to show you that I went when you click the host zone you might have nothing here I already create this domain name and I highly recommend that you guys get something so you understand what's going on in order to do that, you have to purchase that. And these are like, it's cheap, it's like a dot click will be probably $7 per year. How do you do that? You have to click what? Register domain, okay? So here you're going to say what? Register domain. You're going to pick a domain. Let's say call that ASM test test. ASM test test. Okay, I just want to show how you do that. Then what you do, you want to click here and go all the way down to something click. Click is much cheaper. It's like here. Seven dollars. Not much. Okay. You check that. And then goes to the process. It will check it. Make sure everything's okay. It's right here. You add to the cart. Okay. Then what you do, you're going to say continue. Then you have to put your name, your last name, all that good stuff. Okay. So you have to put your registration number. After you do all of this, then you're going to see what? Right here. Okay? This is what I created. ASMWebTest.click. All right? So you go to the pending. You have to do some process. You have to go to your email. You have to go all of that. And then you do As soon as when you create that, it's going to take like 10 minutes. So I highly recommend you guys do that. When you click here, okay? It shows you when is it expire, when is all of that good stuff is. All right. So then after creating this, you're gonna go to where? To your dashboard again. Go back to the dashboard, click host and zone. Now when you click on this guy, domain name, by default, you're gonna see two records. You're gonna see ASM test and NS. And a startup authority. This is name server. These are name server and this is startup authority. These are the record that automatically you get get that. So what I want to do, I want to make sure our remember that elastic domain name. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. Right here. What's the goal is? In here we're gonna create a domain name called what? ASN web test click. Then I go to route 53 and create a record. I'm gonna create what a record and point the elastic load balance into this okay because remember that we have a long what dns name you and i we don't memorize the dns and let me show you where the dns was again i go back to the um ec2 i go back to in the left side load balancer and then this is the virginia elastic load balancer which i have it and this is my what DNS right here again I copy this and I what pasted this long name here which I've done that see that is it's low bass based on again you and I we don't memorize that one so what you want to do you want to point this to something friendly name that's where you have to have an air record so you go back to here I'll go to back route 53 okay then you go to host zone again you can what buy the domain name or you can transfer your domain name but what I did I what register domain name so after you do registration you go back to host zone again you click this okay by default you're going to get two of this now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a record one of the records called a records I'm going to say click record 
Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this as like as far as they call a naked domain. Then I'm going to say the alias right here. Watch this. Alias. Now watch this. When I do that one, then I click here. I have choice of what is coming up eventually. See, I have choice of Virginia and Sydney because I'm going to talk about this later on. Virginia, elastic domain name or Sydney. I'm going to pick what? Virginia, elastic domain name. Now look at this, the choices I have. I have a simple, weighted, latency, fail over, geolocation. Right now I'm talking about simple. So what that means, people, when they type in www. Uh, not www. I'm sorry, when they type in ASM, ASM web test of click, they're going to point to what? To this elastic domain name, and that's going to be to our web server. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to say create. Okay? Now watch this again. So, so that means instead of memorizing this whole long name, I what? Type this. So let's test that. I say ASM web test dot classic. So I'm going to type this ASM web test dot click right here. See, when I do that, it's pointing to my Elastic and Virginia site. So I'm going to refresh. So it goes what? Between two and three. Okay. So that's called what? Simple Route 50. This is Route 50 simple, simple Route Policy, okay? So let me refresh again in my diagram. Again, basically I have these guys. I have Web Server 2 and 3. I have a bunch of website here, 2 and 3, okay? And they are in elastic load balances, okay? And then, instead of memorizing that long name, what I did, I went, I created what? A record to that. So that shows that in other video, I'm going to talk about the other form of the route policy we have. As we saw here, let's go back to here. When we go create a record set right here, see that one? We have what? Either simple, we have a weighted, latency, fail over that. In other video, I'm going to show you these concepts too, okay? So... If you have a question or comment, you can come to our website. Our website is www.asmed.com, okay, right here. So you go to asmed.com, slash L, L means one, Larry as landing page. You click that. That's going to take you to our page. You come down on the page, you're going to see our, you're going to see CompTIA, A+, Net Plus, Secure Plus. We see a bunch of other types of security. It's Amazon right here. You click Amazon. Then you're going to see when it comes up, you're going to see bootcamp, evening, and all that. If you click bootcamp, then we have a bunch of daytime classes, okay? And also on the top, if you click blogs, then you're going to see Amazon AWS. You see a bunch of blogs that we have here. So, especially when you go here, I want to show you this one. This is Network Plus DNS records and also available for Amazon. When you click here, this is very important. You know these. These are the A records. I want to talk about that. Right here, A record is address record is. This is for IPv4, this is for IPv6, okay. SRV is service record is, NS is name server record. That's what we saw, store of authority. Look what A record is. It is return a 32-bit IP address, mostly commonly used to map a host name to IP address. That's what that is, A record. Kanaka name, we can cover that later on. That's like a, when you do something like WW, something like that, okay. MX is used for exchange for man. 4AA, which is a quadruple, that's for IPv6. When you come all the way down, then we have pointer, SRV, and the NS record, name of the server record. By default, anytime you get a new domain name, you have NS record and the sort of authority record. That comes with that. Okay, I hope that's what helpful. If you have a comment, anything like that, just let us know. Thanks so much, uh, and you have a good day.